Okay, we want to now give a high-level demonstration of Fortify Software Security Center. This is going to be very high level as we do not have a lot of time to go through a full demo of the product itself. But I'm, like I said, just going to try to give you a high level of different pieces and parts of it. Um, what you will see in this demonstration is uh, it's a little slower uh, because this is a test demo environment, but it'd be much faster in uh, a production environment. As well, a lot of the data here is going to be just a lot of test data. But what you'll see immediately coming into the application is you see a dashboard uh, of information. You can see there's a lot of details, overviews of the applications. You're actually able to... Uh, you know, limit the the information on the screen by either grouping, aggregating, or filtering by the different attributes that are available on applications. You can see there's quite a bit of attributes here. In addition to the out of the box attributes that come with Fortify Software Security Center, you're also able to configure your own attributes and apply those into your application. So it's quite configurable. You can make this whatever you want it. Another thing I will note is that this data that shows up is based on the user's access. So my access has everything, so I see everything that is going on. I see all the different applications and things, but if you were uh, a user with only certain applications, you'd only see those applications in your dashboard. You can also do charts, tables, you can export this information, a lot of things you can do here. Uh, what I do want to go into though is the Applications tab. So this is where uh, a lot of the work, most people will come straight to the Applications tab. Here's where you can see all the applications in your organization. Uh, as you can see, like so we have a lot of test data in here, uh, but it's not un uncommon to have a lot of applications here. So you have some options. If you're a user coming in looking for issues that are assigned to you, you can click this and only the applications will show up. I don't think if I have any applications here. Uh, with things assigned to me, I might. Um, but anyway, you can, yeah, okay, I have one. So you can uh, assign based on, you know, limiting just what you want to see there. You can also come in here and you can do searches. So if I want to search for uh, a web application that is out there, then this is the web application information. And then I could drill down and go into that. But I'm going to go look into bill payment processing. And again, this is just a way for me to limit or reduce the amount of uh, information I have here and what I'm looking for. So if I want to go into bill payment processor uh, from here I can then go into the different parts of the application. I'll start here with the artifacts page just kind of showing a little bit about the, the different scans that have come in. I can look at the information of those scans. Uh, these are the, obviously the security scans that have come in. I can download those scans. I also can come through I can purge or delete old scans. Uh, it's just different things that I can do here with these scans themselves. On this page, I'm also able to upload an artifact if I wanted to. If I wanted to, if I had a scan to upload, I could do that here. Uh, I could also do some things here, but I'll show that here in the next uh, tab. In the audit tab, you can see this is where most people will spend a lot of their time in the in the product, and this is where you are actually looking at the results, looking at the information of you know what what the details of those, those scan results are. Uh, you can come in here and, like I said, at this one, you, just a lot of information here. Uh, you can export this information. Uh, you've got high-level folders here that kind of give you an overview of you know what the application what what the different issues are in your application. This is obviously a very uh, small test one. We have these things called filter sets where you can go design and, and create different filters uh, for how you want different users to come in and see this information that's appearing here. There's so much that you can configure on this page. But again, high level going through. Uh, if I want to come into the actual issues themselves, uh, I can come in here. And this is where your you know application security specialist or your auditor or your developer is going to come in here and actually work with the issues. Here's where I can assign this to a user. I can set different analysis. Uh, the analysis is just an out of the box a tag that I can I can set basically information about this. This is highly customizable. I can create any kind of tags I want to. If I want to, you know, say, hey, really important or not important, I can create that kind of a tag, put it on here. I can override the priority of this if I so deem it necessary, uh, and then comments, different things there. 
obviously history. I'll love to go in this info tab. So if I'm a, a developer or even a security auditor, this is really one of the powerful things of Fortify is that I have a lot of information here. I can get an overview about the about the issue. I can get details about what the issue is. I can come in here and get the recommendations of what Fortify recommends to fix this. Um, I can look at different metadata about it. Uh, the Fortify priority, you know, what's the impact likelihood, severity, confidence uh, of the issue that, that Fortify identified it as. Uh, a lot of that's very powerful information when you're trying to triage urgency of issues. Uh, a lot of additional references. Every single, um, you know, this is a category privacy violation. Every single category of issue has these references, different things you can look at, and then, you know, implications or whatnot. Uh, you can also get training. So if I wanted to get some training or understanding more about this, you can look at our integration here with Secure Code Warrior. And so you can come in here on any issue, continue as a guest here, and you can work through Secure Code Warrior's platform to learn more about that issue in particular. And so going back to Fortify SSC, again, this is where that you know, you're going to get those information and things on the different issues. Uh, just some other brief things, again, high level. Um, I said, you know, I can, I can search on certain issues, group and filter by attributes of issues. There's a lot of, lot of different things um, that, you know, I, I have on these um, that I can group by. Uh, but for example, if I want to look at uh, privacy violation, whoops, I already did it once. Uh, privacy violation, I can filter by that and just look for all the issues that are privacy violations. If I want to, let's say privacy violations to my organization are not as, as, as important, say I'm just going to call these, you know, maybe they're bad practice uh, and I'm going to move them down to a high because I don't really think they're that critical. Um, I'm going to make a comment here, uh, moving to high uh, because they're, you know, they're just not that much of an issue to us. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to assign all of these to, uh, to Brenton. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pick an assignment, assign all these to this user. I've made them a bad practice. They're high. I can apply that. And then when I go back uh, again to my overall issues, you can see that you know, I, I've modified these down to highs from criticals. I've marked them as bad practice and I've got notes on them. So these are just things you can do here. One other thing I'll briefly talk about here is the profile of the application. This is where you can go into the custom tags. You can add uh, a custom tag here. Like I mentioned, you can go create those. You can add them. You can set many different processing rules in this application if you want to require approval, if certain things about the scan are you know important if it you know if it differs by more than 10 percent or there's more than 10 percent files change you can say hey this needs to be approved you can link your bug trackers uh, you can do audit assistant which is a totally another topic i'd love to talk to but can't today uh, but then you can say get into your application settings uh, is where you can deactivate you can modify you can come in here these are all the attributes that i talked about um, lots of different attributes and things, organizational attributes that you can set, uh, risk attributes, and then we also have this where you can link it into your, your Scan Central DAS there. Um, but just so many different things, you know, you can set the template, you can change the access and give access to this project to different users, many different things you can do here with the profile of the application itself. And so then moving on, just kind of looking in different things that you can do. In Fortify, you can uh, scan central. So we have scan central static and scan central dynamic. Uh, here in static, which is actually set up in this test environment, you can look at the scan requests going through. You can look at your sensors, look at your controller, uh, set up sensor pools, different things around scan central SAST. Scan central DAS, which is not uh, in integrated in this test environment, but uh, very similar to scan central SAST, you'd be able to monitor and manage everything around your scan central DAS integration through Software Security Center. So it really brings all these things into uh, a single pane of glass, a single window where you can do these things. Uh, reports, just briefly get into these. Um, you can look at the different data exports uh, that you have that you've, you've exported data from 
SSC. You can also look at different reports that you've created. Obviously, we've uh, created a lot in the testing environment. You can look at the information, download them, see what kind of reports these are. Uh, you can create new reports here. Uh, we have three types, like I said, application issue and portfolio. If you want to look at the uh, issue reports, this is where a lot of your uh, compliance reporting is. So GDPR, MISRA, FISMA, DISA. Um, you can look at CWE Top 25. You can look at OWASP Top 10. You can generate these reports on the issues. And there's just so many different things that you can do with reports. But again, no time to really go into the details, but very robust reporting capability. And I do also want to add while I'm talking through all these things, anything you see in the UI has an API endpoint capability for. So anything that you want to extract, information you want to get programmatically, if you want to you know, automatically do any actions you see here in the, in the UI, there are APIs that are there for all of that. Uh, administration, probably don't want to go into a lot of detail here, just that there's a lot of things you can administrate. You get a lot of different configurations you can do, setting up your, your SIM, setting up your single sign-on, uh, different security. There's so many things. Like I said, these are the custom tags I talked about uh, where you can go create your own new custom tag, call it whatever you want to, uh, make a different list, define what all those values are, um, anything, sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want to here and really customize that. Uh, the only other thing I'll show you, since I mentioned the APIs, if I go into the help here, we have a very strong API reference documentation where you can come through and really just go through all of the different endpoints. It, it's a swagger. Uh, style documentation where you can see all the different endpoints, what they are, drive in, di into those, test them, play with them, uh, a lot of different capabilities here with our endpoints. And so uh, very configurable, very extendable for automation, for integration into your CI CD pipeline, uh, you know, Fortify Software Security Center, very powerful. And again, with hosted, all of this is made available to you in which we host that. So um, thank you for uh, walking through this with me. I appreciate it. And I uh, hope you got the information you need here. And thank you very much.